This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. From KVUE.com, San Antonio police say they busted an alleged human smuggling operation not far from the heart of downtown. Immigration and custom enforcement officials had 20 victims and two suspects in custody Monday. Police received a call for suspicious vehicles parked outside a residence in the 200 block of South Holm just after 1.30 a.m. Monday. Investigators found 20 victims of human smuggling inside the residence. The people were all lying on the floor. Police arrested two suspects and found more than $3,000 in cash. The agent brought three women and 17 men into custody and relocated the immigrants to their facility in Wincrest. It is anticipated that they will be deported within the next couple of days. WFAA.com reports from Richardson. We are learning more about a bank bandit who Richardson police say has gotten violent. Steve Milam is now wanted for attempted capital murder. Police believe he is the handsome guy, bandit, with a history of robbing banks, the latest on Saturday morning. Investigators identified Milam as the man who robbed the BBVA Compass Bank on Campbell Road and fired at officers peppering a patrol car with bullet holes. Milam served a two-year federal prison sentence for two Dallas bank robberies in 2005, but he wasn't known to wear a mask back then. Well, he said the handsome guy bandit has robbed more than a half dozen banks in Dallas, Irving, and Plano in the last year, wearing a mask each time. The Associated Press reports a Lakeway man accused of participating in a scam that collected $1.6 million and caused the delay of more than 1,100 foreclosures has agreed to plead guilty to the charges. 53-year-old Frederick Allen Gladley will plead guilty Friday. He faces up to seven years in prison. Gladley is accused of charging clients about $750 a month to delay foreclosures on their property. Gladley's associates would have them transfer a share of their property to the company. Those shares would be transferred to an unrelated person who had filed for bankruptcy and was unaware of the transaction. In this way, prosecutors say Gladly collected $1.6 million from clients and delayed more than 1,100 foreclosures. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search Gene Key or SkyServe News. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.